Good afternoon and welcome. I'm Bonnie Lin, Director of the China Power Project and Senior Fellow for Asian Security at CSIS. This afternoon, I'm fortunate enough to host a special guest for this live, uh, for this fireside chat, and it's Dr. Ke Wen uh, of the Taiwan People's Party. He's the chairman of the Taiwan People's Party, and he was also former ta uh, mayor of Taipei. As you know, Taiwan is coming up to its next presidential election in tw January 2024, and that election will have significant consequences in terms of cross-strait relations, but also U.S.-Taiwan relations. We're very fortunate to have Dr. Ke with us today to dissect a little bit about the issues that are impacting the election, as well as to understand what are the key topics and key priorities for his party. So let me, before turning to Dr. Ke, let me actually give a little bit of his background. So Dr. Ke was mayor of Taipei from 2014 to 2022, and he has been the chairman of Taiwan's People Party since 2019. Before becoming mayor, he was a doctor at National Taiwan University Hospital. He was also a professor at National Taiwan University College of Medicine. To many of his biggest fans, he is affectionately known as Professor Ke or Ke Pi. So with that, let me actually turn to Dr. Ke. Thank you again for joining us today. And let me turn you for brief opening comments on your end. Okay, Bonnie. It's a great pleasure to be here. Thank you for the invitation. The purpose of my trip to the United States this time is to get to know the United States and to be known by the United States, to better understand the, the future direction of U.S.-Taiwan policy, and for U.S. to better understand the rising third force in Taiwan is where. This is my third time to visit Washington, D.C. Also, the first time was in 2013, uh, just before my election campaign for the Taipei City Mayor. The second time was in 2019, immediately after my successful re-election re for Taipei City Mayor. And now it's the third time. In the recent days, I have visited Lincoln Memorial Hall, Jefferson Memorial Hall, Washington Monument, and the Capitol Hill. I know, I can understand it's a great challenge for the United States to have democracy and freedom that people here enjoy now. And after the generations of efforts, the achievement has a great impact on the whole world. This time, I was America. I found, I found the United States is still a strong country full of dreams and hope. <coughs> In the recent years, because of COVID-19 and the Russia-Ukraine war, International communication was interrupted. Many industries were heavily damaged or forced to transform. National governments became even more difficult. And due to strong competition between China and the United States, international space for Taiwan to survive was squeezed. Yes, we have, we have many, many problems to face. However, we need to find the solutions not only for 23 million population on the island, but also for regional peace, or even world peace. I hope Taiwan is a private area in the world, not the so-called the most dangerous area in the world, as mass media reported. <coughs> More than half a century, Taiwan and the United States share the same value, so we are important to each other. We have the common interest. I hope in the future we can have more support from the United States and deepen the cooperation between Taiwan and the United States. <laughs> I have better speak in Mandarin. In the economy, we still need to continue to promote free trade. China is the second largest export country, so I very much hope that the United States can help Taiwan join the international economy. There are two reasons. First, ICT products are 那如果台湾不能加入区域经济组织，所有的货品出去，外外外销是需要课税，而ICT产品不用课税，这就是为什么整个台湾的产业会shift 
In terms of economic and trade, we will continue to strive to promote trade liberalization. The United States is Taiwan's second largest export market, and we hope that uh, the United States will help Taiwan to participate in regional economic organizations for a couple of reasons. Uh, first, uh, currently ICT products in Taiwan enjoy tariff-free uh, treatment uh, with many countries in the world. Uh, that benefit has forced our Taiwanese industry to shift all of the resources into industries such as semiconductor. And that has uh, made us to put all the eggs in one basket. And uh, if we allow that to continue for a long run, uh, it's going to create further imbalance of industries. Diagonal Um, the second uh, situation that we are confronting with is uh, uh, free tariff treatment uh, through ECFA for Taiwanese products uh, exported into mainland China. Um, and a direct result is that uh, Taiwanese economy was sucked into this dependency, over-dependency of uh, mainland Chinese market, and in some sense were locked in this kind of uh, situation. Currently, 40% of our export went to mainland Chinese market. Um, and if we would allow this to continue, um, the there will be more imbalance of in our economy, and we will continue to be sucked into this trap. Um, we will need to have better economic development in order to have uh, enough financial resources to have better national defense. And with better national defense, uh, we would have a more secured uh, environment to ensure we maintain the stability that is needed in East Asia. 关于两岸关系，我说我觉得美国国务卿布林肯讲的是三个原则是最恰当的：cooperate if possible, compete if needed, confront if necessary. 我当然是我们就是说依照他的情况去决定到底是要合作竞争还是对抗。不过我也认为我们不需要说 confront if possible， 不需要所有事情都采用这种对抗的态度。目前。台湾跟中国其实我们有相同的历史语言宗教文化但是我们今天不同的是政治体制跟生活模式所以两岸目前竞争的竞争的是政治体制跟生活模式的不同不过是这样的哦虽然有竞争的关系但是我们还是有很多
这个也可以降低台海发生战争的危险。那要维护台湾的安全哦，国防还是必须的，特别是人民的心理准备。我认为啊，民主自由还是有代价的。所谓的那，就是没有白吃的午餐，那福利乱吃。Uh, and that's why I advocate Taiwan should self-govern uh, to secure peace across the Taiwan Strait. Uh, the two sides of uh, Taiwan Strait uh, must restart the dialogue mechanism as soon as possible to resolve differences and avoid conflicts uh, and to work together to maintain peace and stability. Um, through uh, further dialogues, we will be able to minimize possibility for misfire. And also, we would need uh, enough uh, national defense power in order to secure that. Taiwan is very small, but I hope that Taiwan can become a democratic republic. It can be seen as the future of China. I will be participating in the Taiwan presidential election. Our slogan is "A common society for the common society, inclusive society, national governance." Taiwan cannot be a divided country. 我们因为意识形态让整个国家陷入分裂。如果内部都不可以有都没有共识的话，我们没有办法去处理对外的两岸关系。另外，整个台湾的政府机构的效率必须提高。所以 ，inclusive society, national government 是我们这样选举的主轴。嗯。I'm hoping, even though Taiwan is a very small country, that we are able uh, to demonstrate uh, our uh, quality of our citizens uh, and our civic services. I hope that will be the future direction, and we made ourselves a role model for mainland China. Uh, and that's why I carved out our uh, election campaign for uh, when I run for the Taiwanese presidency. Uh, to uh, include two major pillars, uh, inclusive society and national govern governance. Um, I believe it is uh, very important that we have uh, a, a unified uh, situation within Taiwan. Uh, we cannot allow a very divided society in Taiwan because without a consensus uh, from within, it is not going to be possible for us to achieve uh, anything we would like to see internationally. Um, and I've also seen the importance of increasing our government administration's efficiency. This is very important to help us to advance uh, all of our agenda for our citizens. Zhengdang的对立太严重了，所以只要一党执政，就会把另外一党的全部从政府排除出去。我觉得我们不可以是一个分裂的国家，所以主张联合政府，这样才能够团结台湾。对外关系，我们主张台湾自主、两岸和平
uh, in face of the future uh, challenges, we have to work hand in hand uh, to ensure we achieve our common goals. Uh, and uh, the freedom and democracy is always hard fall and there's no free lunch and we have to make sure we uh, work together to uh, secure that. Uh, thank you for listening and I hope you have a very good uh, uh, discussions after this. Thank you. <clears throat> thank you, Dr. Ko, for a very wide-ranging opening presentation, opening comments. I maybe want to take a step back and look at you know what drove you to come to the United States this time. I know you're coming to the end of a three-week three -week trip to the United States. So could you share with us the, your priorities for this trip? You mentioned that you had been to the United States a couple of times before, but what makes this trip special for you?刚才讲过因为我们常常在台湾看自己的时候uh, basically, this trip, I would like to achieve uh, three purposes. Uh, first uh, and foremost, uh, to get to know the United States better, because uh, the United States uh, has been our most important ally and the most important country in the world. Um, and uh, uh, it is also probably the only country that has the courage to uh, provide arms sales to, to Taiwan. Um, so far, and that's why it is, as a political uh, leader in Taiwan, it is very important for us to get a better understanding of the United States. Secondly, um, I would like to come here to seek uh, American perspectives of Taiwan um, from this side, um, because we ended up uh, sometimes uh, by uh, analyzing Taiwan's situation from the island's perspective, uh, and I don't think that would be sufficient. It is very important to get to know how Taiwan is perceived uh, from the world outside. Thirdly, uh, I'm coming here to introduce uh, T TPP, Taiwan People's Party, and, and myself. Uh, currently, even though we have 20% of the support in Taiwan, I believe 99.9% uh, .9 of the American people still do not have an understanding of who we are. So I hope to use this opportunity to introduce ourselves. Great, thank you. <clears throat> On your last point of using this opportunity to both introduce yourself as well as your party, I'd like to ask a little bit about your background, particularly um, since you were the mayor of Taipei, which is not a small city. How does that inform your priorities as you look for the future of Taiwan? So, 做一个外科医生,我们说TPP,但是它其实另外一个意思是I hope Taiwan is pragmatic and a professional,就是我们要一种务实跟专业的方式去处理一些我们遇到问题。那我们的目标是什么? I hope Taiwan is peaceful and prosperous,所以和平繁荣是我们的目标。务实跟科学是我们的手段。所以在我当八年市长的任内,你知道吗? 比方说我们会坚守财政纪律去盖社会住宅 
，那国小三年级以上全部有 iPad， 那可以连透过网络哈，连接到这个图书馆。我们大概有四十万册的电子书了，所以我们要保证说，因为我认为这个可以使用 Internet 是人权的，哦，所以是。因为如果没有，如果穷人不能使用 Internet， 他们在整个社会的会失去竞争力。啊，另外一个是这样，我最特别的地方就是，我当台北市长，这样，我的内阁，你知道哦，什么党都有。所以，我事实上我在台北的八年的市政经验已经证明说，政党的对立不一定是一定是政治的常态。其实我们也可以超越政党，你知道，组成一个联合政府。Through my eight years of uh, experience as uh, mayor of Taipei, um, I've, uh, uh, I've come to the conclusion that uh, our people should be the main stakeholders. Uh, uh, ideology should never be uh, uh, our uh, main goal or uh, the, the subject matter uh, in whatever we are doing. And also, uh, as a surgeon, um, that uh, testified uh, how important to put people first. Um, or the name of Taiwan People's Party, in my view, is not just uh, Taiwan People's Party. Um, it, is, it also stands for uh, Taiwan is pragmatic and professional. Um, and with the approach and measures that we're taking that are pr pragmatic and professional, we hope to achieve our ultimate goal uh, to make Taiwan a peaceful and prosperous place. Um, and through that process, uh, we have uh, been very diligent in uh, creating financial discipline. So when many other uh, local governments uh, saw deficits in their budgeting, uh, when I served as Taipei mayor, we were able to pay off a lot of the debts. Um, uh, we have also believed uh, uh, to make our uh, government administration to be as open and as transparent as possible. So uh, we uh, release all the meeting minutes uh, uh, in our uh, city management. So that would reduce or uh, any possibility for corruption. Uh, and for our younger generation, uh, high uh, housing prices has always been a pain point for them. Uh, that's why we put in a lot of efforts to create social or public housing to ensure that they have a place to, to live uh, when they are so young. Um, and if you look at uh, the public uh, schools in uh, Taiwan, uh, there are 236 of them. Um, I feel a, a very important way to provide equality and uh, access to education is to give them access to internet uh, in modern days. Uh, so we have made uh, optic fiber and Wi-Fi uh, possible. Every classroom would have at least three ports uh, to access. And um, we have also equipped all of the classroom with the 85-inch uh, touch pad screen. Um, and they through, through the screen and through the internet access, they will have access to uh, online library of more than 400,000 books. Um, I think in modern times, uh, ha uh, part of the updated human rights uh, should be the access to internet. Because if you allow poor people uh, to be denied from internet, uh, that doesn't help them to improve their competitiveness. Also, when I serve as the Taipei mayor, uh, if you look at my cabinet, it already included uh, members from different political parties. Uh, uh, I always believe uh, that uh, there shouldn't be any ideology that uh, created conflict. So I only look at uh, who are the right people to retain. And that's why through that eight year, I've already proved that the coalition government is possible. I think, <clears throat> I think uh, what you mentioned in terms of a coalition government, that's something that the United States also is very keen on being able to achieve, uh, being able to work across different parties. Uh, with that, I do want to ask you a little bit about the Taiwan People's Party. What caused you to found the party, and how is your party platform different from Taiwan's other major political parties? TPP, Taiwan People's Party, Taiwan is pragmatic and profession. Pragmatic and profession, 就是我们台民众党最大的特色, 
。所以，政治要实现在人民每天的生活当中。British should be realized in daily life. British should be realized in daily life of people. OK。那我们还是有一个很强烈的这种政治信念。我们不会为了短期利益牺牲长期利益，不会为了政党利益牺牲国家利益，也不会为了少数人利益牺牲多数人利益。而且我们非常务实、理性、务实、科学。那而且我们非常强调这种叫做清廉勤政，认真工作是我们的一个文化，你知道？我们也相信说，哈，普世价值是在台湾的实现，就是台湾价值，所以我们是相信普世价值的。哦，民主、自由、多元、开放、法治、人权、关怀弱势、永续政。永续经营，我们是相信不是价值的。那所以<咳>总结来讲，我们这个党的一个特色就是，它是强调是共荣社会、国家治理。OK， 那不同于其他政党的话，他们很强调这种意识形态，他们他不太注重这种提高、提升这种国家的效率。所以我常常批评他们，就是口号太多，做的事情太少了。Um, as I have explained earlier, TPP not only stands for Taiwan People's Party, uh, but also it's an acronym for Taiwan is pragmatic and professional. I think the two words, uh, pragmatism and professionalism, are the two unique strengths of our party because we do not make decisions uh, and we do not create our political agenda based on ideology. We believe uh, politics uh, should be realized in daily life uh, of our people. And that's why whenever we create or identify our uh, political agenda and the direction of our policies, uh, we believe uh, we should always uh, put our eye on uh, long-term interest, uh, the national interest, uh, and majority uh, of our people's interest over uh, short-term interest and a minority or the political party's interest. Um, another strength uh, that we have in our party is that we have always believed in uh, being uh, rational, pragmatic, and uh, scientific-based in our decision-making process. Um, the way we, prom we, we promote to work in a way that we're serious and diligent uh, and, um, and to take any steps possible to avoid uh, uh, corruption. We believe in the universal value, uh, and we believe that universal, those universal values should be the Taiwan value, such as democracy, freedom, diversity, openness, uh, sustainability, and all of those are being um, included in our over our two pillars of uh, inclusive society and national governance governance many other governments uh, from created by other parties uh, sim did not were not able to look at the importance of increasing efficiency uh, and i believe that is what i am trying to achieve through our party so Dr. Kui, you mentioned multiple times the importance of pragmatism <clears throat> in your party's platform, as well as the importance of placing, focusing on Taiwan's long-term interests, as well as interests of the Taiwan people. So when you look at that, and when you look at the challenges that Taiwan is facing, what do you see as the top, perhaps one, or one to three challenges that Taiwan faces that your party wants to prioritize as part of your either platform or your presidential campaign? 其实我们台湾现在面对的问题啊，绝对不是只有三个一大堆，从缺水、缺电、缺地、缺工，哦，甚至缺人才，哦，甚至到缺鸡蛋了。所以我们要面对的问题太多了。不过除了解决这些，还有一点呢，像那个建劳保要破产了哈，很多这种，还有我们未来十年大概有四十家大学要关门了哈，因为少子化关系。所以实际上台湾要面对问题很多的哈。不过几个大重点呢，第一。台湾还是要经济要重重振啊！那我认为我们台湾没有什么资源，你知道，恐怕创新才是台湾经济发展唯一的一条路。所以整个产业的创新哦，哦，走向那种创新产业为主的这种模式，这我们要要要做。第二点哦，我不认为台湾在二零二五年可以达到那个汇合家园，就是哦 ，no nuclear power，I I believe it's impossible。所以我们还是要很务实的去处理台湾的能源的问题、啊。恐怕第一件事情就是说，目前的核电厂要先继续延续下去。我们要拜谈，争取时间来重新思考一下，到底台湾能能源政策要怎么处理。再來就是
所以所以解决问题嘛哈，然后能源问题要解决，再创新的产业，那那另外一点呢哈，整个政府的效率还是要提高。我一直对觉得我们的政府的效率实在是太差了，不过。这是我们自己内部要去处理的。不过在对外关系上面，我们还是需要美国协助台湾加入区域经济组织的。我们自己的问题，我们可以自己解决。但是加入区域经济组织这件事情哦，如果没有大国的协助，你看，我看我倒觉得很困难。啊，这个才是，但是这个会非常严重影响整个台湾的经济发展。Um, actually, the challenges that we face are uh, not just one or two. We, I can easily name three or five. Currently, Taiwan is in sh uh, a shortage of water, power, land, uh, labor, talents, uh, and uh, even eggs uh, that many people probably would not think uh, that's possible. Uh, but uh, looking at uh, um, other problems in different levels of our society, our healthcare system uh, might have to go through a bankruptcy if we don't manage it well. And in 10 years uh, on top of that, uh, uh, 40 universities probably or colleges will have to be closed down because we don't have enough uh, students uh, to 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 uh, to participate to to go to colleges anymore, um, and um, all of these have uh, shown that it is time for Taiwan to uh, revamp its uh, industry. Uh, structure and at some point, uh, since we do not, uh, we're not blessed with a, a, a lot of resources. It is a must for us to do, uh, to to go through industrial uh, innovation, um, to uh, upgrade our uh, industrial and economy. Um, in twenty, and uh, the, there was another goal set by the current administration to close down all the nuclear power pl plants in Taiwan by 2025. Uh, personally, I do not think that is a realistic goal, because if you look at uh, what is called for for our in, um, industrial upgrade uh, in Taiwan, you would need to have enough power to sustain that. Um, closing down the nuclear power plants is not going to help us to achieve that goal. And that's why I believe uh, in the immediate terms, it is necessary for us to keep uh, the nuclear power plants up and running up until we figure out a better plan. Uh, and that can help us to buy time. Um, so uh, the problems that we're facing in Taiwan right now, we have energy, we have uh, the need to further uh, our industrial innovation path uh, and also uh, to increase the government efficiency. Uh, but th these are more of uh, internal issues that I feel confident that we can uh, handle well. Uh, but uh, in terms of uh, uh, support that we'll need uh, from the outside, we will need major countries like the United States to support our inclusion in the regional economic organizations. Uh, because in order to resolve many of the other things uh, that we're facing, um, uh, further economic development is uh, something we must have for the next phase. Thank you. <coughs> and that, I think that's a good transition to a topic that uh, is probably a keen focus in DC, which is what is your foreign policy platform? Right, you mentioned getting Taiwan in more regional organizations, particularly on the economic side, is a, appears to be a key priority. But what about your broader foreign policy, particularly your policy towards China as well as the United States? I believe Taiwan, the 那对中国方面是这样，我觉得我们台湾两个主要政党哦，国民党是太顺从 （submissive）， 民进党又跟中国大陆完全不沟通、不来往啊。我认为总是有一个介于 in between 最中间的一个处理方式。所以，对于对于这种 close fit relationship 哦，我们的主张是，我们还是要要要有能要对战争要有准备，才能够不怕战争。所以这叫备战而不畏战。但是这样的我们就算有能力作战我们不会主动去寻求战争，所以能战而不求战。那我们常常在看，在在讲说，我们台台湾民众党就是不求战不畏战，那民进党是求战，国民党是畏战。嗯、um, 
this is how I see it uh, in terms of uh, um, our uh, foreign policy, uh, regardless of which political party is uh, taking the office in Taiwan, our uh, our uh, relations with the United States would not change. Uh, but if you look deeper between the differences between KMT and DPP, I feel KMT has always been on the submissive side uh, when working with uh, mainland China, uh, while as DPP uh, stop all the channels of communications uh, with PRC. Uh, I personally think there is always a possibility to find a space in between the two extremes uh, when handling the cross-strait uh, relations. Um, mm -hmm. If you look at KMT, um, they seem to be uh, taking all the measures to be afraid or to avoid a war, um, whereas uh, DPP in uh, its uh, provo uh, provocative terms uh, seems to uh, uh, create uh, a momentum to seek war in many people's eyes. But I would think it is better to be done in a way where we uh, always prepare ourselves for a potential war, but we should never be afraid when such a war is happening. Uh, while at the same time, we, should do, we, should, we shouldn't do anything to try to provoke and seek the war. So just to be a little bit more clear about what is this middle ground that you're trying to carve out? So you're saying on one hand, you want to have more communications with China compared to the DPP, but on the other hand, you also want to continue to significantly invest in Taiwan's capabilities, including asymmetric capabilities. Is that a correct characterization of how you're trying to balance and find this middle ground? So the solution is always to be rational and scientific. 情绪去操控，所以我到现在这样了，因为我过去有办过八次台北跟上海的双城论坛，我也办过二零一七四大运，我有跟中国大陆交涉的经验，就是说有有有有谈话，你知道 ，talk， 总是可以找到 solution， 啊，背的死，啊，你完全不谈就就没有办法，那所以常常是这样的哦，我我认为有交流可以增加善意。那最起码可以减少误解、啊。那所以，如果我们台湾跟大陆完全不讲话的话，我觉得这个万一有有时候 mis mis misunderstanding 的哦，会会会产生这种误解，甚至产生人家 m i s f i r e 哦，啊，所以这个，所以我们还是要为了要减低这个台海之间发生战争的危险的，其实跟中国大陆还是要 communication 的。I think uh, the best way to deal with, uh, to, to identify that in-between area is, uh, again, to uh, adopt the principles of being rational, pragmatic, and scientific in your decision-making. Decision -making. Never allow emotions to take over uh, when you are making important decisions. Uh, when I was uh, Taipei mayor, uh, we have uh, successfully uh, held uh, eight times the Twin City Forum between Taipei and Shanghai. In 2017, um, we successfully held uh, the university, summer university. Uh, and, and all these events and forums helped me uh, to gain a lot of experiences in engaging and uh, uh, to keep the dialogue open with uh, our counterparts in China. And uh, that was a lot of experiences established. Uh, for me to understand that you have to keep the dialogue open before you can identify any solution to the problem. And um, in, as a minimum, the uh, ongoing engagement and communication um, would create goodwill, and if not goodwill, at least it would minimize the possibility for misunderstanding. And when we are uh, in any possibility for misunderstanding, sometimes you create opportunities for misfire, and that's something we would like to avoid. And if we want to seek uh, uh, peace uh, across Taiwan Strait uh, and to avoid the threat, I think that's the uh, first step we need to take. In terms of communication with Beijing, uh, are you and the TPP willing to accept what China has outlined as some of the preconditions for dialogue or engagement, including acceptance of the 1992 consensus? 
那在与北京的这个对话方面，如果要重启对话的时候，您是否愿意接受北京政府对于呃对话的一些前提，其中包括这个接受九二共识？这个我也跟大陆讲过，你知道，如果要谈判，要从那个可以谈的部分开始谈呢、啊。现在有个很大问题是九二共识在台湾已经污名化，所以你只要一提到这个，整个台湾人民都不高兴。我每次说看在看用我们医学的名词就是说。如果他已经对便宜西定过敏了，哦，便宜性而热气，那你为什么坚持要打便宜西定？所以这个这个是一个，我们要试着去说服大陆，你知道吗？说是不要拘泥于名称、抬头，能不能不要注重它的内容 （content or substance）？ 嗯、um, ，In reopening any dialogue, I always believe we have to start from where. We can, um, or areas that we can have a dialogue.、Um, if the 1992 consensus is a prerequisite,、uh, it is not going to lead us very far because the 92 consensus in Taiwan,、uh, the whole image of it has already been smeared.、Uh, people don't like to hear about it, and it doesn't take you any further in any、uh, discussions. Um, I、uh, was a surgeon, so I'm going to use a、uh, uh, medical、uh, scenario to dis- describe my belief. If a patient is allergic to penicillin,、um, why would you keep insisting prescribing penicillin if it's already、uh, going to create an allergic reaction?、Um, and that's why 92 consensus.、Um, If you stick to that as a term that you want to go by,、uh, instead of looking at the actual substance,、uh, I think、uh, is not going to、uh, help us to create a dialogue. 其实，在我们跟中国大陆交往当中，感到最困惑的就是说，中国政中国政府对很一些重要的名词都没有很清楚的 description， 包括九二共识、一个中国、一国两制，这叫是这这个就好像是这样的啊。Before I buy it, of course you mustn't let me know what it is. But now you just tell me to buy it, but I don't know what it is. What it is? This is a big problem.、Um, the major issue right now、uh, in in any talks、uh, or engagement with the China is that there weren't、uh, clear cut、uh, and definitions of a lot of、uh, prerequisites that. Uh, they spoke about, for example, one China policy or、uh, one country two six two system. If we don't know what is already what is included in their mind underneath those concepts, it is very difficult to strike a deal. It's just like if you want me to buy something and I don't know what I'm buying,、um, the deal can hardly be struck. Great. I want to focus now on more the defense side. As you know, under the current Taiwan government, there's been quite a bit of investment in Taiwan's own defense, as well as investment in Taiwan's asymmetric capabilities. So,、uh, as you look at the challenge or threat posed from China to Taiwan on the defense and security side, what is your policy? What is your thinking about Taiwan's defense? I think you mentioned earlier that. Uh, Taiwan needs to be prepared and be able to fight a war, but does that mean you will contain, continue to sustain, if not increase, the investment in Taiwan's defense, or are you going to further even increase that significantly? What is your specific view on the defense side? <coughs> 第一点哦，民主自由是要有代价的，哦，没有 no free lunch， 所以，所以是这样的、哦<咳>，下足你知道哈、哦、，deterrence， 你还是要一足够的炮才能够下足。所以我们还是要建立一个国王力量，还是要建立的。所以是这样的啊、喔，我我觉得我们在在整个国王建设一样，要回到一个叫务实跟专业嘛，务的。预期从四个月增加到一年，其实重点不是时间增加，重点是训练的内容是什么，这要解决。还有一点呢、喔，国王精卫到底够或不够，这还是要诚实的面对。按照目前的状况，你知道，如果我们的国王预算不到。GDP 的 two percent 的，我不认为那个是足够的。再来就是说，台湾单独要对抗中国，在在军事上还是有困难，所以所以终究台湾还是加入区域的安全组织。那在我们的，既然我们的国防的政策是下足了哈，那那在整个不对称战争的发展还是
，还是要还是要去发展，就是说，我们主要战争的目的是让对方不敢动手，而不是说真的去跟他打仗在其中来决定胜跟败。Um, when it comes to democracy and freedom, uh, I believe there is no free lunch. There is always a price tag uh, attached. Um, the predominant uh, policy uh, and strategy that we have is deterrence. However, in order for deterrence uh, to be effective, you have to establish enough uh, national defense power. And I would still go back to my principles of pragmatism and professionalism uh, when it comes to national defense and security issues. Uh, uh, recently, we, we've been changing um, the uh, mandatory military service from four months to a year. Uh, however, I think the duration of a military service is not the the, the focus, which is not the solution. Rather, you have to look at uh, the substance of the training in the military, uh, mandatory military uh, services. And, and that's why it is very critical to examine uh, your national defense uh, dollars and expenditure. Uh, do we have enough to cover the kind of uh, training that is called for to prepare us for a war? And we have to be honest about that. I, I don't think currently the national defense uh, budget is only less than 2% of the Taiwanese GDP. I, currently don't think that's enough to cover what we need. Um, and also to expect Taiwan to uh, confront a China's a military threat uh, unilaterally, it is not uh, realistic either. That is why it is very important for us to participate in regional defense organizations or platforms uh, so that we have the capability in the uh, asymmetric defense um, to help us to encounter potential threat, not to be ready to fight the wall of a war, um, not to encourage war, but uh, to make sure where we are uh, able to um, handle that threat. 最重要的哈，从俄乌战争的经验里呢，其实战争的心理准备很重要。你看，俄乌战争已经打超过一年了。乌克兰还没有垮掉，你知道吗？这表示说他们有很强的这种意志力，可以维持这场战争。我倒觉得我们台湾在在这个战争意志力的准备，还是还是要需要更，还是要更强的心理准备。Um, and the uh, Russians' invasion into Ukraine is a very uh, uh, appropriate example for us to draw lessons from. Um, I think that taught us how important your uh, uh, preparation, uh, men mentality preparation is uh, in fighting and to prolong or uh, the war. Right now we've seen uh, the Ukraine war uh, linger for more than a year, um, but they are still fighting. Um, and um, that tells you how strong uh, people's will to fight against Russia is uh, in Ukraine. Um, I am not as optimistic when it comes to the uh, mentality of Taiwanese people to stand up against a war like that. And that's why I think that will be the area that we need to also focus. Maybe I can take a step back and actually uh, ask a related question that I probably should have asked earlier which is when we talk about the challenge that China poses to Taiwan, do you view the challenge as mainly military or is it across the board, economic, uh, societal? What is the main challenge that you view that Taiwan has to deal with with, with respect to China? China has a lot of pressure for Taiwan. Of course, there are two parts. One is military, one is military. Of course, we have to prepare for this. The military is like this. 不管从媒体的、啊、网军，他总是无所不用其极，所以我倒觉得是这样的啊。就我的概念就是说，我们不太可能，就像我们 human being 啊，人活在世界上，不太可能说完全没有细菌入侵。重点是你的 immunity 要要够强、啊，所以我倒觉得是这样的啊。建立一个，有时候说要，说说我们要建立一个更民主、更自由、更无名的社会。照办去抵抗这个非武力的压迫。
Uh, China's uh, threat will come in uh, two ways, uh, as I see it, military and non-military. Uh, in the military sense, it's very important to uh, ensure that we are well prepared. Uh, but in the non-military sense, uh, uh, their threat can come in many forms, uh, such as uh, through the media, propaganda, through their hired uh, internet influencers that create a momentum online, again, to be against us. But again, as a doctor, I would go back to uh, the medical terms, uh, if I may. Um, you can never eliminate bacteria in the environment, but what you can do is to boost your immunity in your body. And that's why when, it, when you bring that concept to uh, the protection of uh, democracy, freedom, and our own uh, civilization or civic uh, society, uh, we just have to make sure we are able to do all those areas well enough uh, so that they um, they can no longer suppress us in all of those non-military um, um, uh, pockets. We are in a situation where we have a new name called Resident City. Before we were in a situation where 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 we were in a s i t u a t i o n 所以就说我们对付极端气候，我们要要有绿色电气体。其实同样的，你知道，我们面对这种 extreme politics， 其实我们要建立一个 we must establish a resilient society。In terms of city management, what I've learned、uh, through a more modern concept is to build、uh, resilient cities,、uh, and I, especially when we are confronted with、uh, very extreme weather conditions.、Uh, in the past, when we were hit by flood, what we thought about is to build、uh, a more blockage, stop the flood from coming into the city, or we, we uh, placed uh, more pumps、uh, to take the water out. However, the new way of making a city more resilient is to build the city in a way so it can absorb those uh, excessive uh, water and flood.、Um, and that is the same concept we should apply when managing a country,、uh, that we have to make our society more resilient so we can withstand those extreme situations. Great, thank you. So I'm going to ask one final question before we open up to Q&A from those in the room.、Uh, so the final question relates to Taiwan's broader foreign policy and what you view as Taiwan's appropriate role on the international stage. As you are aware,、uh, China recently took one of Taiwan's diplomatic allies, Honduras. There is discussion of what might happen with respect to Paraguay, right? So as you look at Taiwan's role internationally, how do you envision Taiwan should operate? Should Taiwan be trying to defend and expand its Allies and partners, or is that something that is of lesser priority for you? Uh, we know that Taiwan is recently. Uh, the next question is related to foreign relations. Uh, that is, in the foreign environment, there are some tensions. We know that Taiwan has suffered like Honduras. So many people may ask, "What is the next one? Is it Paraguay?" So, in this area, what is your position? Do you think it should be more aggressive to defend? 捍卫我们已有的这个邦交呢，呃，与盟友更呃更呃加强我们的联系，还是说你觉得这个并不是最重要的一个议题？嗯，那务实来讲一下啊，台湾多一个邦交国少一个邦交国，并没有实质的影响。但是这样的啊，外交有很多方式哦，比方说经贸外交、城市外交，我倒觉得这样哦，正式的外交，台湾的确有遇到中国的压力。但是我们,我们可以扩展更其他的外交来弥补那个缺点。所以虽然台湾有正式邦交国家只有现在剩下十三个，但是台湾的 passport 在全世界都可以用，甚至比中国大陆 passport 还好用。所以这也是证明说，会外会正式外交的外交哈，我们还是可以还是有很大的空间可以发展。嗯。In a very pr pragmatic sense,、um, our situation、uh, in foreign diplomacy would not change whether we add or、uh, remove one、um, diplomatic tie.、Um, 
And uh, there are many ways uh, to engage in foreign diplomacy. Uh, you can establish, uh, establish foreign diplomacy through economic and trade uh, activities, through city-to-city -city exchanges, and through the conventional sense uh, through uh, political ties. Uh, of course, uh, in terms of uh, uh, diplomacy through political ties, we have been suppressed by China um, constantly uh, so that our current uh, countries so with diplomatic ties with Taiwan have been reduced to 13. But if you look at uh, the pragmatic uh, sense, um, Taiwanese passport is uh, more accessible and, uh, in uh, everywhere around the world compared to a passport from mainland China. Uh, so that tells you a lot. Uh, and that's why I believe if uh, I were elected, our agenda would focus on areas we can engage in uh, all those areas that involve uh, non-official uh, foreign policies. So I said that was the last question, but I should have one more question before we open it to Q&A because we are relatively good on time with respect to that. <clears throat> so um, it seems like when you're talking about how you vision Taiwan's foreign policy, uh, it seems like in addition to the middle space between DPP and KMT, you also, seems to, you also seem to be carving out some space between where China wants Taiwan to be and where you have said the United States might want Taiwan to be. So when you think about prioritizing Taiwan's relations with the United States and China, how, how do you think about that prioritization? 我想在追问一个问题因为我们时间既然还够啊因为之前已经提到了在这个外交问题方面您提到就是一方面是要在这个民进党与国民党的这个外交政策当中取得一个平衡同时也需要在中国跟美国之间的这空间之间找到一个可
pre premises or prerequisite of 92 consensus from Beijing government to DPP. And uh, Beijing government was very hard, uh, maintained a very hard line on 92 consensus, uh, even though I believe they, they know DPP is not going to accept that. So uh, the their relations are not going to move forward. Uh, but the reason there was such a premises of uh, 92 consensus is because probably PRC already know DPP is not going to have a good engagement or dialogue with them anyway. So 92 consensus in that sense can be a very convenient excuse. But once a cre an impasse is created, um, it's very difficult to go back. So in my agenda, I believe we should never allow any uh, possibility for an impasse like that to be created to begin with. Um, to ensure that, uh, and that's why I believe in the continuous engagement um, with the other side so that you can create the goodwill, so you can reduce the misunderstanding and, and to reduce the risks uh, thereof. Um, um, the, the, the five uh, mutuals that I believe uh, within TPP is uh, uh, mutual uh, to, to get to know each other and to understand each other, uh, to uh, respect each other, to cooperate each other. And the last point, which is the most important part after we've achieved the, all the other four, is the mutual consideration and uh, to to put yourself in other size uh, shoes, knowing that there will be um, difficulties uh, in front of us, we still need to find a balance uh, between us. And that will require uh, extreme flexibilities on both sides uh, with uh, strong efforts to minimize hostility and the possibility for impasse. So maybe I can clarify my previous question a little. Is your policy, general foreign policy, to maintain equal distance between China on one hand and the United States on the other? What is your overall policy uh, to the United States vis-a-vis -vis China? It's a dynamic equilibrium. Since America is larger, China is much stronger. China is, so, of course, we are David attitude to America. So, this is a dynamic equilibrium. I always say one thing, the border is fixed. 但是两边的人性的距离是会变动的所以中国要了解这个道理坦白讲今天是中国大陆把台湾逼向美国那一边的因为动不动就会机会来会去你知道吗在这个情形下台湾人知道一直往美国那一边靠 um, I would always believe it is uh, um, uh a result of dynamic equilibrium. Um, it depends on which side is stronger sometimes, uh, but uh, if you put that in the sense of uh, cross-Taiwan Strait relations, uh, I would always say uh, the, the distance cross-Strait is always the same, but people's mind can always change. Uh, if uh, PRC always uh, try to uh, create air threats uh, by sending their airplanes, um, of course, uh, people in Taiwan would uh, be more inclined to be closer to the United States. Okay, great, thank you. I want to open up the floor now to questions from the audience. So, yeah, if you would just need to line up there and read your question. Uh, yes, uh, my name is Tina Chong. I'm like uh, West America's Chinese French. Chairman Ko, uh, you talked about the, uh, seeking balance between uh, the uh, Chinese uh, uh, condition for cross-strait resumption of cross-strait dialogue of uh, the 92 consensus, uh, and you're trying to seek the balance uh, of maintaining the status quo, uh, although I didn't hear you say the, uh, the exact wording. But what do you think uh, the balance point is? Did, did you find uh, that that uh, perfect balance point, and also, um, uh, will you uh, think uh, to uh, have a, an alternative framework for resumption of cross-strait dialogue? Thank you. 
Um, 我是来自美国之音的 Tina Chang。呃，我想追问您刚才的问题是关于您说到如何找到一个平衡点。那这中间其实很大一部分是受到中国对于九二。共识的这个架构的这个先决条件的一个影响，当然你也提到了希望维持这个现状，虽然您没有用维持现状的这个具实际的这个字眼，但我想您的意思是这样子。呃，那这个平衡点呃怎么找？您是否已经找到了？那么会有哪些呃替代的一些方案帮助您能够实现这一点？第一点呢、哦，一个国家的前途不能寄托在另外一个国家的善意上面。所以常常是这样的哦，一个一个完全没有实力的人，根本就没有资格上牌桌，就是你根本没有更加 argue 的能力的第一点。所以他们来讲，那个平衡点是这样：当台湾台湾太弱的时候，他根本就没有没有资格去找那个平衡点所以每次讲说要要能要备战才能够不畏战，这还是很基本。所以台湾还是要有一定程度的国防力量，这第一点。那至于那个平衡点是这样的啊，一样嘛哦。第一个我们要足够的实力，第二个还是说我们要还是要想办法减少对方的敌意。我每次在讲说，过去二十年台湾在国家战略上最大的错误就是我们失去了中国人民的喜爱跟甚至羡慕。我还记得二十年前嘛，那个大陆上的人民是很喜欢台湾的。他们甚至他们到了羡慕台湾的程度，可是现在我非常清楚了，中国大陆的人民对台湾充满了敌意，甚至有一种鄙视的态度。那如果这样的话，根本那个平衡点就很难找到了。所以这还是两点啊、喔。第一点，自己的实力要够强；第二，我们要还是要增加对方对我们的善意。这两点做不到，那个平衡点就会就会一直偏向战争过去。Um, I think the prospect of any nation should not be dependent on the goodwill of other nations. So that is the fundamental principle. That just tells us how important it is for us to strengthen ourselves.、Uh, and if you don't have the enough skills, you shouldn't play the game, as I see it.、Um, and currently, if we are perceived as a, a weak power,、um, we would not. Be even be qualified、uh, to to identify or strike that balance. Uh, uh, we will always be on the passive side,、uh, and that is why it is very important,、uh, first and foremost, to, to strengthen our capability in national defense.、Uh, as I said, to make sure we are prepared、uh, so that we are not afraid of potential war. So increasing our、uh, strength and power. Is the prerequisite to be able to find that、uh, balancing point. Secondly,、um, we have to work very hard to reduce the hostility from the other side and, and to increase、uh, some goodwill、uh, from the other side.、Uh, if you look at、uh, the cross-strait relations、uh, 20 years back,、uh, people from mainland China were very fond of us. They even envy、uh, what we have achieved in Taiwan. But 20 years、uh, after. Now,、uh, I feel there was a sentiment from mainland China、uh, to no longer be fond of us, and also to even look down upon us.、Um, and、uh, if that that is going to continue to be the case, I don't think it is possible for us to find the balancing point. Pimei, <coughs> I want I want to follow up on your、uh, points here. So you mentioned the importance of finding a balance. You mentioned the point the importance of not relying on any external power for Taiwan's defense, and you also mentioned the importance of、um, decreasing China's hostility against Taiwan, right? But as you look at Taiwan's defense, as you mentioned earlier, so far the United States is one of the few countries, if not only country, to sell arms to Taiwan, right? So. Right now, U.S. Taiwan defense relations are at its strongest point ever, right? But that, even every time that defense relationship strengthens, China has an issue with it. So, how do you balance that? Do you see that as potentially imposing, in your view, a limit on how much you want to strengthen defense relations with the United States? 嗯，他的意思就是说，会不会因为中国不高兴，然后你就会觉得说，呃。
与美国这边加强在军事方面或者是国防方面的合作，你就不敢做了。你会不会设设一个一一个线？呃，就是过了这个，不然的话，呃，好像持续就会因为我们与美国的更多的军事合作，提升我们的自我防御能力，反而导致他们不高兴，那么你就没有办法实现两边的均衡。我我们在讲到 T V P 的对外关系啊，两个原则嘛，台湾自主，两岸和平啊，所以我们当然是希望两岸的和和平啊，但它的八吨弹还是台湾自主啊，所以所以所以才能知道啊，我们要知道我们的。底线，所以要让让彼此都知道对方的底线是什么。如果如果我们如果你要侵犯我的底线，那我就只好跟你打了。呃、uh, ，So from TPP's、uh, agenda, um, we've always said that、uh, we strive for uh, uh, Taiwan's self-governance、uh, to secure a peace cross strait. Well, peace is very important. However, we should never forget、uh, self-governance is always uh, uh, more important or takes priority over that piece uh, because uh, self-governance should always be our bottom line.、Um, and we have to make sure、uh, the other side is aware of our bottom line. And if the bottom line is not going to be protected,、uh, and that will be the unfortunate war to be happened. Okay, thank you. <coughs> Any more questions from the audience? Sure. If there are no other questions from the audience, please. Uh, I, I'd like to know. The,、um, I'd like to ask、uh, Chairman Cole.、Uh, a lot of people say that,、uh, that for Taiwan's presidential candidate,、uh, no matter which party, they have to come to the U.S. for being、uh, for a sort of quote unquote interview. So how do, how do you think、uh, your performance here?、Uh, get, did you pass the interview? Uh, how uh, is the、uh, U.S. side respond to your policy positions? Thanks. Before you answer this question, I would ask if there are any questions, please line up over there so I know. Elsewise, I don't know if there are any questions here. Thank you. Uh, 就是问柯主席，就是呃，坊间有这样子一个说法，好像就是台湾不管哪一位总统候选人，如果要竞选的话呢，必须要先到美国走一遍，跟美国这边进行一些面试。哦、oh, ，我想问您，此行如果是来面试的话，您觉得您自己的表现怎么样？是不是通过了美国这里对台湾候选人、总统候选人的面试？他们的反应如何？这样呢、啊？其实，其实不管我们说五个互相，你知道，不管不管在国内对其他政党，或在国外，不管对中国、对美国，那五个互相都还是适用，互相认识、互相了解、互相尊重、互相合作。还有，万一有问题的话，能不能互相谅解？那一开始就讲了，美国还是台湾最重要的盟邦，哦，那美国是目前世界上最强的国家。那事实上，目前台湾的国王安全哦，还是还是美国是能提供最大的帮助了。所以我们还是要必须要了解美国、啊。那其实我到我们在在这过，我们在跟这这一些 talk， 不要说 interview， maybe I should say discussion。在这个 discussion 的过程当中，我觉得我们都彼此增加更多的互相、互相的认识、了解、尊重，还有将来可以合作的。我到现在为止好像还没有，还不需要互相谅解，因为我们并之间并没有说我们不同意的地方啊。所以我倒觉得这样的，就我最近跟美国政府的这种 discussion， 你知道吗？他们一再表达说，美国是愿意帮助台湾，而且不会介入台湾的总统选举。Um, I believe, regardless of which counterparty we're talking about, the five mutuals or five each other principles from TPP would always、uh, apply.、Uh, whether it's、uh, the engagement between、um, Taiwan and U.S. or Taiwan and、uh, PRC,、um, the 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 five principles being、um, to get to know each other, to understand each other, to respect each other, to cooperate each other, and finally,、uh, to 
um, give consideration uh, to each other. Um, and even right now, and I believe uh, those factors will apply when it comes to our relations and discussions with the United States. Um, United States remain to be the strongest ally uh, and the strongest nation in the world uh, for Taiwan. Uh, so far, in terms of Taiwan's uh, national security and defense, uh, the United States has been our uh, greatest help. Um, and instead of calling my visit and uh, with them and meetings with them as interviews, uh, I would rather to call them uh, uh, discussions um, with American counterparts and um, officials. Um, we are not yet at the level of uh, mutual uh, consideration. Uh, however, I think um, we, through the discussions that I have this time, I have been reassured by the U.S. side they will continue to help Taiwan in defending ourselves and they will uh, strongly support Taiwan uh, without interfering um, our uh, election. So I want to follow up on a point that you mentioned earlier, inclusive society, national governance. I wanted to extend that to what it might be if you were to come into power, uh, if you were to resume, if you were to become the president of Taiwan. Does that mean uh, in your cabinet, in your ruling uh, coalition, that you would have not only experts or representatives from your party, but also potentially experts from the DPP or KMT? Would you be willing to use leading experts or figures from across a different aisle in your in your government? Of course. <laughs> 事實上我在八年的台北市長就已經這樣做了。Yeah, as a matter of fact, uh, I've already achieved that during the eight years uh, serving as uh, mayor of Taipei. And uh, from your perspective, how would that change sort of the dynamics compared to what you currently see in Taiwan? 那這麼可能會影響到台灣現在的這個政治的最起碼就是說本來是個divided,就我們本來是個分裂的國家嘛,是透過共同合作這樣。我會發現 一起，我特给的本身就可以减少很多，一就很就可以减少很多敌意。所以所以所以在在我的他们他们一定很难想象，在在我的我的cabinet的那个里面，有新党也有民进党，我我我的那个民政局长是民进党的，环保局长是新党
we had talked a bit about the relationship on the uh, security side, on the defense side. And you also asked the United States, saying that um, it would be useful for the United States to help uh, promote Taiwan or get Taiwan membership in regional organizations. What else, what else are you seeking from the United States? Well,其實美國跟台灣關係一向非常好 um, I believe we have always had a very cordial relations with the United States, uh, so we just need to keep uh, the good things going. I don't see any uh, major challenges uh, between the two sides, uh, except earlier with the, the import of American pork. To Taiwan, wrapped, um, uh, and I, I think that's uh, an issue that has already been resolved. Uh, so we just need to keep the current momentum going. And do you have a sense, aside from the United States, or what are other countries that would be key priority partners for Taiwan? 大國叫Japan 每個月會見面談一次我倒覺得日本還是台灣在東亞地區最重要的 I believe uh, Japan remains as the next largest uh, country we have to work with especially in, the, uh, in, in Asia um, and I also remember um, there, uh, during uh, the presidency of uh, late President Li Zhenghui, uh, there was um, national security uh, meetings um, that, that was taking place on a monthly basis with a rotating chairmanship uh, between, among uh, the United States, Japan, and Taiwan. Um, However, when President Li Denghui uh, left the office, uh, that uh, meeting uh, seems to disappear, uh, didn't get to continue. I believe it is very important to bring that kind of national security regular meeting back. Uh, um, and, and through the setup uh, of the national security meeting back then, you would know already Japan was a very important part of it. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, I think we can always call Japan our partner or friend uh, in that sense uh, to uh, keep us uh, um, in this national security uh, issues uh, in control. So 我們參加叫利害關係人的,stakeholder。And uh, there is also another reason that support uh, our partnership with Japan uh, in, in a closer sense, because 98% of energy supply uh, for Japan would have to come through uh, Taiwan Strait. Um, and that's why they care about the peace uh, across Strait uh, very much for their own interest. Uh, and in that sense, Taiwan is a very important uh, stakeholder uh, for their own, uh, for Japanese energy security. Mm -hmm. And that's why I think it's easier for us to strike, uh, to achieve some success in partnering with uh, Japan. 
Thank you. <clears throat> so, so I didn't hear you mention either Europe or Southeast Asia, but I wanted to ask a little bit about Southeast Asia because that has been a priority for the current administration in Taiwan, partially because to think about supply chain shifts and to decrease the uh, reliance on, ec on China economically. As we look at this economic piece, is it a priority for you to decrease Taiwan's economic reliance on China, or is that again another balancing act that you need to think through a little bit? That you aren't, that your policy isn't to decrease Taiwan's reliance on China for trade. 嗯，那么之前已经讲到了，就是呃，台湾要在这个各个空间当中寻求呃一个平衡点。那么此前还没有听到您讲到对于东南亚的一些国家交流的一些政策。呃，那么我想问一下，是不是有考虑就是在供应链方面，也可能要多元的进入像是东南亚的地区，这样子才能够减少对大陆的经济的这个依存？还是说呃，这个也是要审慎处理的，因为怕与他们交流过多。多的时候有引起大陆的不满。其实哦，市场决定一切 ，the market determines everything。所以叫 follow the rule of market。那时候，其实其实供应链的 supply chain 的 reorganization 哦，这大概是一定会进行。特别在美中大贸易大战之后，本来整个世界的供应链就会重整。所以我常常说哦，政府你知道，政府不必特别去做什么事情。政府只要问企业说 “What can I do for you？” 他说，所以所以整个我我觉得我们台湾的企业都相当灵活，他们在整个东南亚重新布局，你知道吗？我们政府唯唯一要做的事就是问他们有遇到什么困难，帮他解决，这样就可以了。因为因为我一直相相信，政府不会比企业更了解市场。嗯、um, ，I believe the market、uh, should.、Uh... Decide uh, for themselves, uh, and that's why uh, my principle is always follow the market. Uh, and uh, ever since uh, the the trade war between uh, U.S. and China started, uh, the supply chain has already started its own reorganization. Um, they uh, savvy businesses would have to find its own way, and government. Um, as much as you attempt to do, you, you are ending up uh, lagging behind. So the best thing the government can, uh, any government can do is to ask what can I do for you, for businesses. Um, and Taiwanese businesses have been very savvy already in finding out different outlets in Southeast Asia. Uh, what we can do from the government perspective is to help them to resolve problems uh, and issues if they encounter any in that process. Um, and business is always going to be ahead of uh, governments. Great, thank you. <coughs> so, Dr. Ko, I think we are nearing the end of our session, but I want to ask you a final question. Uh, so, what are your final stops in the United States? And since you mentioned the importance of Japan, will you also be visiting Japan at some point? If possible. <laughs> If I have time, of course, I will go to Japan. Okay. In the United States, you will visit Japan. Houston. Oh, stop by Houston. The last the, the last stop is Houston. And you'll also go to Japan, you said, or, or you're not going to go to Japan? If I have time. <laughs> if it's possible. It's possible. If, if possible. I have time. If I have time, I will call. I will visit Japan. Okay, well, Dr. Ko, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate this opportunity, and I think this is an excellent chance for you to uh, to describe yourself, your party, but also introduce you to the American public. So thank okay, you again. Thank you for your invitation. Thank you.